YouTube, this is Daniel Vanover, and welcome back for another Technology Tip of the Week. This week, we're going to look at two ways that you can add equations into Google Docs. The first way is using the Google Docs Equation Editor, which allows you to create some basic equations. Another way that you can add equations into Google Docs, as well as sheets, slides, drawings, and forms, is the add-on Equatio. Equatio was developed by the creator of GMath, and it allows you to add equations into a Google Doc, a Google Sheet, a Google Form using either LaTeX code or by actually scribbling out the formula that you want to throw in. So let me share my screen with you and we'll get started with the Equation Editor and Equatio. So first let's look at the Google Docs Equation Editor. If you open up a Google Doc, go to Insert, choose Equation and the equation editor will appear and it will actually just be like a regular text entry inside of your Google Doc. You have basic Greek letters that you can use for instance if you needed to do pi, theta, or delta. You can use those Greek letters and you have a quick access to any of those. You can also use basic operators such as multiplication, division, plus or minus, as well as other operators and symbols that you may be using in your mathematics classroom. You also have symbols for relations, such as less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, sets and subsets. The fourth button will give you math operators, such as roots, fractions, and even integrals, and sums, and limits. Finally, you're able to insert arrows into your equation as well. Typing in the equation editor works just like typing in any other document. You'll click inside the little blue box that's here and you will type what you need into that blue box and that is your equation editor box. So right now I have an integral. Let's say I'm going to do an integral from 1 to 4 of 2x minus 1 dx. Clicking outside the box will put me back into the regular document that I can begin typing standard text. If I need to insert a new equation, I click the new equation button and I can insert another equation and simply type it as I did the first equation. So now that we have looked at the equation editor inside of Google Docs, let's look at the Google Chrome add-on Equatio. To install Equatio, simply navigate to the Chrome Web Store and search for Equatio. Once you have found Equatio, click Add to Chrome. The extension will be added to your Google Chrome account. Choose whether or not you're a student or a teacher. Choose the account you're going to use with Equatio. And Equatio will now be added to your Google Chrome account. When you're inside the Google Doc, Sheet, slide, drawing, or Google Form, you're able to use Equatio to insert mathematical phrases and equations into that document, slideshow, spreadsheet, or even Google Form, both questions and answer submissions. Simply click the Equatio button in the top right of your Google Chrome window, and you'll have multiple options for being able to type your mathematical equations. You can just use the equation editor and start typing in uh, different symbols. You have the basic symbols down here in the bottom right, such as your exponents, uh, your fractions, your mathematical operators. You also have other mathematical symbols that you might use, function capability, and matrices, as well as a list of the Greek letters that you might be using in your mathematical equations. Another feature that Equatio has is the ability for LaTeX to be input into your Google Doc, Sheet, Slide, Drawing, or Form. Simply type the LaTeX code that you would like to use, and your LaTeX code will be converted into the mathematical expression or equation, or in this case, matrix, that you can then insert into your Google Doc. It will insert it in as an image, so that image can be resized if needed. 
This is really good too because when you export out to a Google Doc or to a PDF, you don't have to worry about the equation editor uh, being messed up. Sometimes those can happen. So since this is an image, the image will stay the same regardless of the format that you export your Google Doc into. Another really neat feature of Equatio is the ability to use handwriting with your mouse pad in order to make a mathematical expression. So let's say I wanted to do f of x equals 3x minus 1. You notice as I write it out on the left using my mouse, on the right it's turning it into a mathematical expression. If I need to expand this so I have a little bit more room, I can drag that up and then start writing in my equation. You'll notice it's keeping things in line kind of as you would expect it to. So as I'm working out this function here, I'm filling in 3 for x, it's keeping things in line so that the equation looks correct. Then I can click on insert math and that mathematical equation will be inserted into my Google Doc, Sheet, Slide, or Google Form. When you're inside a Google Form, you will have the Equatio icon on each line where you would insert text for a question or answer choice. Simply click the button and the Equatio bar will appear at the bottom. You can choose how you want to insert your equation. You can also use speech input if you want to say 3x minus 7 equals 5. You can do that and the equation will show up and then you just click insert math and the image will be inserted into your Google form. When you are submitting to a Google form that has text input, you can also use the Equatio button to insert mathematical expressions in equations and work out problems into the Google form. This is really handy for a math teacher that wants a student to show their work. The only catch to using Equatio with your students is Equatio is not a totally free add-on. It does cost $100 for a single user for one year subscription. That is in regard to the premium features though. The free version of Equatio that has always free features will include just a few of the major features of Equatio. You can check out the free versus paid features on the texthelp.com website. But a quick overview of what those free features are is Google Docs integration, speech input, you do get LaTeX input, and you can still use the handwriting recognition two times a day. If you pay for the premium version, you get all those features. You do get an unlimited handwriting recognition and you can get the Google Forms integration, Google Sheets integration, slides, drawings integration, as well as a math and chemistry prediction option. And that's how you use the equation editor and Equatio in Google Docs. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get updated on new videos as I post them. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Again, this is Daniel Vanover with your Technology Tip of the Week using the equation editor and Equatio in Google Docs. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.